<laughs> oh, oh, hey Lee, you look so tired, love. <laughs> We've only got another 140 miles to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Now we've got 40 mile. 40 mile. Campers. Well, oh, what a rough night, what a long day, but we made it. And uh, as you can see, superhero campsite. Morning, Mr. Works. How did you sleep? What was that? <laughs> Flappity flappity flap. I thought I was going to die at one point if the dog cuddled me. And I started thinking, did I put enough pegs in? You in there, ratty as hell? Get up. I'm at Ed's abode. Sidekicks about. Good morning. Morning, mate. How are you? All right, you? How did you sleep? Not the best, was it? Oh, it's a bit flappity flappity, wasn't it? Yeah, a bit windy, a bit rainy. I thought, did I put enough pegs in? <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to go, oh, my tent's blown yeah. away. And uh, my trouble was, if ours blew away, we were going with it, because it's all one piece. <laughs> <laughs> There's no light, it takes off, it takes I off did, with us. I did wonder about Alan's because way, but I look at it. Yeah. Guard ropes ranging out. About in the wind. You didn't really do a very good job as a sidekick, did you? I told him I wasn't putting his tent up for him. Ah. Because he's moaning about his breakfast now. Only you had your breakfast? I'm not eating this. It's awful. What did he give you? Did he give you like proper jail it's porridge? It's horse food. Ah. Uh? Horse food, oats. <laughs> I can't eat it. Is it an hotel room for you tonight then? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I had about an hour's sleep. My tent was doing this. <laughs> Apparently I put it up wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was surprised. I did actually think, will he still be there in the morning? Or will I just find him in his sleeping bag like that? I think it was my mask holding it down. Yeah. Wow, here we go. This is day two. Just left the campsite now, 8 o'clock in the morning, what a beautiful day it is. We've got to get fuel, a few more have turned up this morning, and then uh, we head to John O'Groats. What a beautiful day to head there. So that'll be the furthest northern point, completed first thing this morning, and then we're heading for the furthest western point, which is still in Scotland, hence we're doing the, uh, the compass backwards. Me and the lovely wife are still dressed as turtles. Wednesday down here, he's like, I don't want my goggles on because he's decided that when he's had enough, he likes just to sleep in his bed and he disappears for hours, just sleep. He's quite happy when we're doing these sort of speeds, but uh, in the wind yesterday, he was like, yeah, I'm out of here, which was quite, uh, quite strange for me because he doesn't normally do that. And then uh, every time I look down, I'm like, oh shit, where's my dog? He had a big old seagull flying around him this morning. Line him up for breakfast. Hey buds, yeah. But it was a long ass day yesterday. I gotta say, we were both just done in. By the time we got, uh, nearly seven o'clock by the time we got to that campsite. 600 miles we did yesterday. We ended up having something to eat and then it was pretty much just head for the bed. So yeah, we gotta go and find fuel because uh, <laughs> we're all on empty. It's all right, just having a spirited ride now, but we got no fuel. 
I need fuel. I'm going to see one of us is going to run out. It'd probably be me. I don't know, I'm touching the empty line nearly. I've just never taken it this far down, so I don't know how far. Mind you, the petrol light's not on yet, so absolutely stunning. We still ain't found fuel, <laughs> we're still going, still looking. I've come to the conclusion it really is uh, when you see it, buy it, fill it up. A big thank you to you all that have donated. It's, uh, the total's really going up now. It's amazing. The generosity of people is always uh, always amazes me, especially within the biking community. Today is about a 300-mile day total, so uh, only half of yesterday. So in saying that, it's probably going to be just as grueling just because it's roads all like this. Uh, you know there was quite a few uh, hundred miles yesterday that were just straight roads had it uh, 70 mile an hour fingers crossed we keep this weather for the whole trip that's for sure I could say I would uh, it would have been a different story this morning if we'd have had to pack all that down in the rain it's been an absolute nightmare I have downsized a bit I can actually see out my mirrors now which is quite nice rid of the two extra panniers because they were just ridiculous to getting on and off the bike for the wife was like we look like two decrepit turtles I don't know about old age turtles she ended up hurting her knee she got stuck <laughs> yeah we were stuck for about five minutes a bit like put a turtle on its back and all that and uh, I said we'll try something different because you know, I was letting her get on first because it seemed to be easier I said I'll get on and then you try and just climb on because of the height of the panniers on the panniers she got a foot snagged and then we were both stuck which in hindsight was hilarious people must have just been going look at them two turtles stuck on that bike well we got fuel same thing again you can only find E10 on a nice twisty coast road now Head into John Groats. So yesterday the uh, the turtle siren uh, came in useful a few times, or it was uh, heavy traffic. Thirteen mile from John O'Groats. What a beautiful set of roads that was. I gotta say the big green sexy machine, wow. For a twenty-one year old beauty, she goes quite well. Three up, fully loaded. It uh, was quite a spirited ride, to say the least, but uh, that's how we like it, any buds. Put your hood up, love. There you go. Keep your ears warm. Look at that. It's just beautiful. So yeah, we're going to uh, have a break in Johnny Groats, and uh, even if that means we uh, we carry on for the rest of the day on our own, just so we can. Uh, do it at our pace and, and stop and get some pictures in and uh, like I say it's uh, postcode to postcode so there's no pressure for the group to stay together you know as long as you get there at the end of the day safe and sound that's what it's all about review absolutely stunning blew that wall up right we're nearly there a couple of miles 
we will be at the furthest northern point the green sexy machine made it all the way and here we have it when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Well, that's Jolly Groats done. Just head into what is the furthest northern point, the tr furthest true northern point in the UK. And I think it's called Dunnit Point. Might be wrong. I'm sure it's called Dunnit Point. The clouds have come in now, a little bit colder. There's uh, a bit of a chill in the air. We broke off from the main group at uh, Johnny Groats, just purely so I could give the little man a bit more of a break and uh, let Ratty as well go and use the toilet and have another coffee because she does like her coffee. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done, all the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright a spot of lunch and anyway, we didn't get the lunch we just got a drink because they were overwhelmed with the amount of people we've still got uh, it's gone midday now we've still got 160 odd mile to do it's amazing how long it takes on these small twisty roads yeah there buds kid oh yeah 
I managed to pick a couple of donations up at John O'Groats. Or should I say, Buddy did. Bless him. He just gave the turtle the bird. <laughs> How rude! Can you not see all them bikes coming down there? Okay, now. That was Belle's mother Mary. There's just so many bloody beautiful roads to see. Well, the road's not that much. Well, the view is. Very seaweedy. Well, I've still got 100 and. Uh, oh. 134 miles. Hundred and thirty-four miles and we should arrive at the campsite without any other stops at half past six. But we need fuel. That was worth the little detour. For sure. But he's gone to sleep. He's out of there. He's in there somewhere. But I gotta say, the old big green sexy machine has uh, been doing quite well, bless her. Got a few donations while we've been out on the road. But, uh, if you're in a position where you can donate something, hit that link below. Show us some love. Well, we just, it's never ending. We seem to be out in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful. But uh, our biggest concern now is the big green sexy machine. He's going to run out of fuel. If this carries on for another hour, like it has done, it's been an hour of these roads. Absolutely beautiful. Apart from the bloody motor homes, I can imagine in full blown summer that this road is an absolute nightmare. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Oh, welcome back. What a day. It's been a beautiful day. Apart from this last probably hour, we've had a lot of drizzle and rain. We're uh, two miles away from the campsite now. It's been another 12 hour day in the saddle. My wife, uh, she's in bits, so her knee's killing her. She hurt her knee yesterday. And uh, yeah, she can, I can tell she's definitely had enough sitting on the back. Anybody that thinks this is an holiday, um, you are wrong. It is uh, it's quite gruelling. The miles that we're doing every day on the roads that we're doing, but it's all for a good cause. And uh, no matter what, we're having fun, even though we're Budsy, he's gone back to sleep because it started raining. But I gotta say, I couldn't be prouder of him. He's uh, he's 12 hours in this bag. Uh, you know, apart from the times when we've stopped, absolutely amazing, and he's still loving every minute. And uh, it's just starting to rain. A moment to get the tent up before it pisses it down. Nothing worse than that. I hope it's not raining in the morning when we got to pack it up. But thank you very much for joining us on day two. If you uh, could hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. 
just get notifications of when the next video is out and give us a follow give us a love and uh, help support this channel thank you very much thank you very much to everybody that's uh, donated I'm absolutely blown away by the amount of people we've had a few people today that have just stopped us in our tracks and and donated absolutely amazing um, thank you very much to everyone until the next time stay safe <laughs>